Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and I am coming to you from a very chilly Toronto. It is minus 19 Celsius today, minus 20 odd with the wind chill. So I am staying inside and staying cozy. That's not unusual temperatures for us, but it still isn't pleasant. So I do not feel the need to go out in that. I hope all of you had a lovely Christmas, those of you that celebrate Christmas and uh, that now that Christmas is over, you're having a bit of a relaxing time before heading into New Year's. We had a very nice Christmas. The girls were absolutely thrilled and had a lovely time and uh, I got almost all of my sewing done for them all, all the major pieces I got done so I'll show those to you in a few days along with the rest of my December makes so today I am here to do a sewing tag that was created by Boz from the YouTube channel A Girl Called Boz and I'm going to link her below and she started a tag called New Year's Resolutions with a sew in the middle and it's all about what you're planning for the next year, all of your goals, etc. And I thought that was a really great thing to do, especially at this time of year. I also want to share with you, so I have something to show you here and this is my sewing planner created by Athena Kaku from Greece and she also has an amazing YouTube channel that girl is so prolific you won't believe it so head over to her channel and also on her website she is selling a PDF version of this beautiful sewing planner so it has I think the regular planner has 56 pages and then there's a 45 46 page add-on that you can also do and it has beautiful graphics beautiful prompts um, for instance there's a page of the challenges you are taking part in there is a page for YouTube video ideas if you're get, get the add-on there are sewing goals for 2018 there are um, lists for your pattern stash um, there's lists for every month of the year calendars um, sewing shopping lists logging what you have what you're buying um, I mean it just goes on and on and the great thing about it is that because there's so much and because it's a printable you can print what you need and just have that available put in a ring binder um, print it half size and, and like fold it into a little booklet I personally am using this one challenges I'm taking part in and I'm just gonna put it on a on a clipboard and have it like up against the wall in my sewing space so that I have everything in front of me of what I'm doing I also have, I'll give you a little preview of my Make 9 for 2018. This is the first year I'm going to be doing that. So I filled that all in. That was really fun to have. Same thing. I'm going to put this on the wall and then I can just cross them off as I go. So head over and have a look at that planner because it really is lovely and it's really reasonable cost and I highly recommend it. So I wanted to, to share that with you first and now I'm going to do the challenge. Okay, so let me read these questions. Number one. What's your favorite make of 2017 and why? So I just posted today my nine favorites over on my Instagram page. And if I had to pick my very favorite, I think it would have to be my Vogue 9075 um, uh, romper, jumpsuit. My Vogue 9075 jumpsuit. Um, because I just feel like that was my first proper garment you know like my first thing that really felt like I made something I I took my skills to such a new level with that and I I love it I've only worn it a few times because I kind of made it right at the end of the season but I'm looking forward to, to wearing it a lot more in the spring and the summer and yeah so I'll put in a little video of me wearing it there or, or, or photos or whatever I have if you don't remember that and it's also in my September makes video and I'll, I'll link to that as well so that was my favorite make what did you attempt in 2017 that you won't be doing next year and why not? So I thought about this and there's not like a garment or a, you know, or, a, or, or skill that I try that I won't be attempting again. But I think what I won't be doing again next year is cutting corners. I think I got so excited when I started getting really into sewing and, and I could see how you could just make things quite quickly. And I think... I cut a lot of corners and and yes you can do that and sometimes it works out and but I want things to be really properly finished and I, I want things that I'm gonna be able to wear for years and years so what I'm not going to do next year is I'm going to not cut corners I'm gonna stop doing that what are you going to continue doing I'm gonna continue pushing myself I'm gonna continue um, not putting limits and just being fearless and just going for things and um, and also being very, very um, mindful about what I want to make. Very mindful, um, very strategic. I really want to look at what I have and create a wardrobe 
that is really cohesive and something that just makes me really, really happy. What are you going to try next year? Um, so I have a couple things that I'm going to try next year, and those are on my Make 9 that I'm going to show you in my next video probably, or the one after that, we'll have to see. Um, I want to make jeans. I, I want to make things that are more structured, that require more skill. So I want to make jeans. Um, which I know is totally doable, and I know that that's not, you know, an, an advanced skill, but it's, I think, it, intermediate. I think that's probably fair, right, to say that jeans are intermediate. So I'm going to make some jeans. I also want to make a bathing suit um, slash workout um, outfit. So I do hot yoga. So in hot yoga, generally you wear something that's fairly akin to a bathing suit. You're usually wearing little shorts and and a half top because it's so hot. You don't really want to cover up a lot. At least I, that's generally how I feel. So I want to make a bathing suit that can also double as a hot yoga outfit. And I have some fabric that I bought last year that I think I'm going to use for that. But again, I've been a little intimidated by that. So I want to do that. And then the third thing that I really want to do is I want to make a fitted dress. So if you saw my video about my little red dress project, that was sort of my first foray into something, you know, more fitted, more structured with a zipper and, and just a, just that little bit more advanced and with varying degrees of success. Um, but I really want to make something that is tailored exactly to me. And to that end, I'm also going to create my own block of my, I think it's called a block, of my own body. Um, often because I don't have a huge differential between my hips and my waist, I often find that things that are fitted, it's a little bit tougher because I have to really change those proportions. So there's a class on Creative Bug where you learn to make your own sloper. And so I want to make my own sloper um, for my body and see how I can use that and how I can maybe start creating my own patterns and being more creative. So those are some of my goals for next year. And then lastly, where do you see your handmade wardrobe by the end of next year? What about in five years? So by the end of next year, I think my handmade wardrobe will probably be um, a lot more a part of my day to day. And I do think that I wear my handmade stuff already quite a lot. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm also in the middle of a year without buying any ready to wear. So I started that in July. I, I probably actually started before that, but I'm, I'm counting July because I know for sure that I definitely didn't buy anything in July. So starting in July, um, I'm doing a year without buying ready to wear. And to be totally honest, it has not been that big of a deal. It really hasn't. Anything that I really want to make or really want to have, um, I can find a way to make at least a version of it. Uh, I think if anything, maybe it's finding fabrics that like seeing a fabric and really wanting that fabric more than really wanting that garment. So if I see a garment in the store that has an amazing fabric, I'm more drawn to that than, oh, I need to have that garment. But even that, it hasn't really been that big of a deal. It really hasn't. I'm, it's, it's been kind of surprising. So I think by the end of, of this year coming, because I'm not buying any ready to wear, I think that my handmade wardrobe will really um, become the primary source of my wardrobe. And in five years, that's so hard to say. It's so hard to say because I, I, I'm so at the beginning of this journey, I don't really know where I want to take this. I don't know if I want to continue just sewing my own clothes. I don't know if I want to, um, you know, go entirely handmade. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I hope that within five years, I will be really, I will really have, have honed my skills and that those skills will allow me to make something if I want to make it and that um, I will no longer be intimidated by any article of clothing, that anything that I want to make, I will have the skill set and the confidence to make it. So I'll give you that for my five years. Okay, so that is my challenge done. And I'm going to tag, I'm gonna tag Athena, Athena Kaku. And again, head over there to see her sewing planner. And she does a video detailing every single page in this. So head over there and you'll, you'll see that. I'm gonna tag Natita from Natural Dane. 
and I'm gonna tag Myra from Myra Lorraine. So I'm gonna tag all three of you ladies and I'll put um, a link to um, Boz's channel below and this the original video. I'll be back in just a few days. I'm gonna give you my December roundup. I'm gonna give you my plans um, for Make Nine and I actually have a project coming up in January that I'm looking forward to sharing with you too. So watch this space, there'll be more coming soon. I hope that you guys are enjoying a well-deserved rest after a busy holiday season and uh, gear up again for New Year's. If you're doing something, we're having a very quiet New Year's. So we're gonna be at the cottage quiet doing nothing. So <laughs> no, uh, no New Year's Eve outfit for me except for pajamas. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.